Let's try this again. This video is going to be slightly out of the ordinary go away infinite screen because I have a lot of gaming videos that I did and that I don't want to edit because they're boring, dumb, and stupid. So as you can see, I have my Nintendo Switch right here and I'm going to be showing you how to record it with OBS using a little funny capture card thingy. So let me just make sure that I'm, yeah, okay. Easy peasy, one squeezy. So, for anyone who has a Nintendo Switch and has tried out YouTube before, I assume that at some point you've either had, like, your grandfather holds your phone over your right ear and just, like, played like this, trying to record it, or maybe hold it up in front of your Samsung fridge and just... It's annoying, it's inconvenient, and it looks unprofessional. Well, anybody that sees you doing that is probably gonna think, wow, how does this guy have more than two subscribers? But if you've bought yourself an HDMI video capture card that you want to use in the Switch to record, that's a good idea. That's better. But it's also kind of difficult to set up. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. The first thing you're going to want to do is set up the video. So for this, when you go onto OBS, you can select video capture device. You don't want to use window capture, you don't want to use game capture, display capture, none of that's going to work. You want to use a video capture device because this is the only one that has USB video. You're gonna have three options. Integrated webcam, virtual camera, or USB video. You wanna go USB video, and for the most part, it should just immediately detect it and start displaying it. For the audio though, you're going to wanna put an audio input capture with, all right, well, it's not saved for me right now because I don't have my shit hooked up. Don't do that with your Switch, you'll 100% break the port. I'm just... weird. And then, when you plug in all your stuff, it should automatically be on digital audio interface. If it's not, you can easily change this, because when it's set up, it sets up, it'll literally give you the option. Unless you just have it on default. And then, if I go on my video capture device, choose USB video. Okay, it's not showing because I'm using a different instance of OBS to record this. So I'm going to turn this off, this. As you can see, it's working fine. But something that you're going to immediately run into, which is a problem that I just did on like a two hour video. is that it doesn't automatically catch your microphone volume because the second that you activate this, there's a decent chance that it'll turn off your microphone. As you can see right here, it's not flashing anymore. Okay, well it is now, but it'll go on and off. So when you go into your audio input capture you, and you click add existing, you'll see the microphone aux is also already here because it is a source, it's just not displayed. So you wanna go into here, you wanna set everything up, and then you want to take the second slider, the mic aux slider. No, never mind. I just contradicted exactly what I said. Then after you do this, you want to take the mic aux slider, slide it up, do all that good stuff. And you might need to deactivate and reactivate it a couple of times for it to work. Because the two audio input captures are just going to completely destroy each other. But then once you have all that set up, then... My throat's really dry, I didn't drink any water before this. Then you can turn on your video capture device. If it's not hooked up correctly, then you just press the little deactivate and activate buttons on the top. Then you have all your stuff set up. With this method, you should have your video on, your audio, and then you should be able to have any of the other sources that you need. I just realized how small my webcam is. But th th this was a relatively short video. I went a lot more in detail than I needed to. Psych, this is not over, because I know all of you nasty-ass motherfuckers in the comments are going to say, how do you physically set it up? Because none of you have brains. I'm kidding. This is a joke. Don't hate me. Don't get me banned on Twitter, bro. What you want to do is, obviously, on your Nintendo Switch, there's not an HDMI port. There's no port on the Switch itself. But there is one on the dock. 
So for this to work, you're going to want your Nintendo Switch dock to have the power plugged into it. The Nintendo Switch charger, the charger that came with the Switch, you're going to want to hook it up to a wall, hook it up to the dock. Then you want to take one end of the HDMI cord and just... My cord isn't very long, so it's going to be hard to show this. Just slam it right into the bottom port where the HDMI goes. Just like that. So now you have both of these cords slammed in here. Uh, the common misconception is that these two ports on the outside, you actually put this into here, run the HDMI through it, and then put the HDMI right in your computer. But this is what goes into the computer. And then the HDMI goes into the dock. So once you have all this set up, I'm sorry, humidifier. I didn't mean to hurt you. Trust me, humidifier. I'm never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Okay, then you slam this into here. Your video capture card should have a USB output and a HDMI input. You put the HDMI input into here, put the output into one of the USB ports on your computer. And then you just slam your switch into the thing. Did I just break the thing? Probably not. Then when you go into your scene, you go into your video capture device. You'll need to deactivate and activate it if it, you've done like literally anything to change it. And then you're all hooked up on here. Again, yeah, that's that's the video. That's my tutorial. Like and subscribe. Check my description for my Twitter, my Discord, my Twitch, all that. Have fun. Goodbye. Never bother me again. And I'm sure that a lot of people here are really bothered by this watermark. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of this watermark using a Filmora without buying the premium version. There is a little trick that I know. It's a little bit inconvenient, but it'll definitely get rid of the watermark 100% for free. And by next video, I meant at some point, not actually in my next video, because I'm probably going to find something more fun to do.